hi guys welcome back to my channel so talking about this dress in a minute Start now, my sister is not letting me. She she just finished and leave me. Let me do. Fear. Very simple, trust me. I'm going to put it through. Yeah. So I'll be using 68 inches worth of fabric, which is almost two yards. And then for the length of this fabric, it is 58 inches. I was here on the march on the same. Now I'll go ahead and fold this fabric into two from widths. That's the 68 inches. I'll be folding that into two. And then once I am done, the next thing now is to fold it again into two. That is into four now from length, just as seen on the video. Yes, me to come back. Now I'll go ahead and take points. The first point is the shoulder, which is already the beginning of the fabric. The next is your waist point, then your hip point and the length of My folding is the measurement from my center back to the sleeve length where I want the sleeve to stop plus seam allowance. Now that I got my folding, I went ahead to rule a straight line down to the length of the fabric. On the neckline where you have the close edge, I'll place my tape and go in by 3 inches. It was not enough. Now at the end of the fabric where the sleeve point is, I'll go down by 2 inches. I will go ahead and connect the 2 inches to where the 3 inches is seated on the neckline. This is like taking your shoulder slope. Now on the neckline, for the depth, I'll be using 3 inches, so I'll go down by 3 inches. And then for the width, I'll be using 4 inches, so I'll go in by 4 inches. I'll connect both points together. <laughs> points on the hip points i'll go ahead and chalk my round hip divided by four plus one inch so in allowance for someday come around then i will take the line straight down to the dress length okay now from where the round hip is sitting I'll go ahead and place my tape and go down by 4 inches. Now this 4 inches is where I'll be connecting the sleeve to. So make sure you make a clear and visible marking. Moving on to the sleeves. So now from the point where the 2 inches is, I'll place my tape now and take the width of the sleeves. Like how wide I want the sleeves to be. So, and I want it to be 10 inches wide. So, I'll go ahead and take 10 inches from the 2 inches point. Okay, so now I'll gradually and carefully connect that point where the sleeve is sitting to the 4 inches we took below the hip point. I'll connect this 2 point to... I'll go ahead and take my round waist divided by 4 plus 2 in where the round
round waist is sitting i'll place my tape like this three inches um two inches upwards and one inches downwards i'll be taking three inches but then i'll be taking one inches downwards and then i'll be taking two inches upwards then I'll go ahead and make a small and nice curve on that point. After which I'll go ahead and cut this out. Now this is the keyhole. <laughs> by half an inch and then on the neckline i'll be sewing in the neckline with a bias so i have a previous video on how you can sew a bias on the neckline and then while i'm at it i'll go ahead and hem in the sleeves part make sure you notch that part where your the width is sitting the width of your sleeves so when you are hemming you will hem and you will stop at where you notched for the keyhole this is the most important part of the video as you can see this is the right side of the fabric if i flip this in this is the wrong side and the back is the right side so now to make this to sew this keyhole i'll put my hand through the wrong side to grab this key um this fabric from the right side i'll put my hand through from the wrong side to grab the fabric from the right side and then I will place the right side of this keyhole to the other right side of the keyhole. And then I will sew this round from the wrong side just as seen on the video. You guys, let's take this to the machine and I hope you understand. When making this dress for yourself, please take your time to sew this keyhole because it's the most important part of the dress. So I'll place my fingers through the wrong side to the right side and then I'll grab the right side facing the other right side. Then I'll go ahead and sew on the wrong side round the curve we made. After sewing the keyhole guys i'll go ahead and sew in the sides and then i'll hem the base of the dress you can go ahead and make yours longer i made my shorts because my fabric was too small but if you have a lot of fabric please go ahead and make yours longer and let me know in the comment section if you find this video very easy i'll be seeing you guys on my next upload <laughs>